have a girl who's approximately five years old and we have a tiger who represents a young sibling. This tiger is very enthusiastic. It always wants to help, it always wants to do things and often it makes a mess. We know the relationship of the girl and the tiger from the cover. They're very fond of each other. And the tiger doesn't look like a real tiger. The tiger looks more like a toy tiger. And it's called My Sloppy Tiger for very good reason. My Sloppy Tiger. And here we are, we're into the story now and we're going to encounter the text. My tiger is very sloppy. He spills his milk and wipes his face on the tablecloth. He never puts away his toys. It takes me all morning to clean up his room. At lunch I say, I think I'll go to town. My tiger is pleased. He loves to go to town. He gets so excited he spills a dish of jam down his fur. You sloppy old tiger, I say. Now you'll have to have a shower. My tiger bounds into the shower. Splish, splash, and he's out again. There is water all over the bathroom. You'd better clean that up, I say to him, or we don't go to town. Away bounds my tiger. He comes back grinning. He has cleaned the bathroom with my t-shirt. What will I do with you, you sloppy tiger, I say. Now you'll have to wash my t-shirt. And there are all these little footprints. My tiger goes away, scrub, scrub, scrub. He comes back holding up the t-shirt. His claws have made big holes in it. Look at those holes, I cry. My tiger wants to mend the t-shirt, but I tell him no. I'll get a new one in town, I say. My tiger is very pleased. He loves to go to town. He gets so excited, he steps in a pot of paint. But you noticed what the five-year-old, the girl, is doing. She's laughing. So it's not a bad ending to a story.